Did you ever wonder how the godfather of British blues, John Mayle, got the blues? On Blues Radio International, we're here at the 2016 Blues Music Awards in Memphis with John Mayle. What was it that motivated you to start playing blues at the beginning? Well, it was a private thing, really, because, you know, I started listening to blues music when I was about 10 years old. But, you know, it wasn't until I was 30 that, uh, you know, the, the, the culture, musical culture in uh, London was, was uh, shifted from trad jazz, uh, New Orleans style jazz, uh, and to, to blues, you know. So it was a, something that was a hobby, really, for me. At age 10, your friends weren't necessarily listening to blues, were they? Not really. I mean, I lived in the country, so there wasn't very, very much, you know, very much uh, uh, social action where, you know, I just had a few friends that lived in the neighborhood. But when you live in the country, that's kind of widespread. But, uh, you know, my father had some jazz records and uh, that kind of uh, was, was the sounds that I heard when I was growing up. And then when I was about 10, I started to uh, dig into it more carefully and, uh, you know, started listening to, to, to Boogie Woogie pianists and uh, uh, people like Josh White and Big Bill Brunsey and all that. And, you know, it all grew from there, really. So it was a hobby, really, collecting records and listening to those guys and uh, feeling a, a bond with it. What was it that set it apart from the other forms of music that people were listening to at the time that you first really picked it up? Well, it, 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 it is different in the sense it's, a, you know, blues is a more personal uh, contact because you know it's 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 like like jazz, but you know you've got somebody singing and uh, you know telling stories on top of the music. But um, you know it, and, and and blues is is basically a, you know a three chord type of deal, whereas jazz can be a lot more complex than that with its chord structure. In in finding that we have listeners in 184 countries with very different cultures, I've been surprised that people from backgrounds that are completely diverse and different from our own, with musical scales unfamiliar to us, still are moved by this one four five structure and by a shuffle. And I'm sure you've seen that all over the world too. Why do you think that is? Well, it's very basic and something that people can respond to without knowing anything about it. You know, they just feel the beat and, uh, you know, they get the message uh, through the music and uh, makes you want to move. But there are other kinds of music that people move to. Why, why is blues different? Well, you know, I guess it's the simplicity of it and the honesty of it that in the lyrics and the, the message that uh, people are telling. They recognize the, the things that may be situations common to their own lives. Was it hard to get a hold of? Uh, Josh White recordings were not necessarily in every record bin. In well, they were in every record store in Manchester. You know, 78s, uh, then, of course, before LPs, but... Uh, you know, I always found that there was plenty of, uh, you know, jazz and, and, and jazz records with blues overtones, and uh, you know, there was enough for me to build up a, a record collection and to be able to get pretty much anything I wanted. Did you find any resistance to your playing blues when oh, you started? Well, I wasn't playing blues publicly because no one was inter no one was interested in that, so it was more or less as a private enjoyment you know record collectors are like that you know they, they love the music and they collect records and listen to them and f their friends listen to them you share it that way but as regards playing it if you don't have a, a, a venue or an audience to uh, relate to then uh, it stays as your hobby you know how did that venue which eventually did come about come about how did you have a forum in which you could play blues well, you know, as everyone knows, in, in the beginning of the 60s, I think uh, the general populace had had uh, quite their fill of trad jazz, which had ruled the roost in the clubs and radio for 10 years, and they were ready for something different. And Alexis Corner and Cyril Davis put a band together, a blues band together, and it quickly mushroomed to that. So they were re relating to teenagers and people 18 years old who were just getting into music and uh, it all coincided with uh, an explosion of fashion and all sorts of things in uh, uh, movies were all changing in the beginning of the 60s so it all fit the era and uh, 
and it was a obviously when when they were starting off that blues boom in London it was something that was our last hear the music because I've always been playing privately now I can go uh, to London and uh, join in this is what I did John Mayle the godfather of British blues talking to BRI at the 2016 Blues Music Awards in Memphis you're with Blues Radio International <laughs> 